Hello, Summit Artist. If you recall, we had finished painting our primer onto our coil pottery, and now we're needing to add color to our pieces, and we're going to be using something called a limited palette, similar to these beautiful pottery pieces that you see here. And our limited palette is gonna be based on those two color families that we have been talking about in art class since the start of fourth grade. And those color families are the warm colors and the cool colors. And so we are going to be needing to have our color wheel available so we can appropriately select warm and cool colors. And then the way that we're going to limit our palette even more is we're going to select one either a warm color or one cool color for the inside of our pottery. And then on the outside of our pottery, we are going to use several colors. So if you select a warm color for the inside of your pottery and you've decided on cool colors on the outside of the pottery, you'll use one warm color for the inside and many, many cool colors on the outside of your pottery. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you noticed, I'm pointing these spaces out on my own pottery. I'm taking a peek at the color wheel and I'm making that choice. So then boys and girls, I'm gonna begin my painting. So you can see that I'm using several cool colors on the outside and one warm color, which is yellow, on the inside of my pottery. And if you accidentally paint the wrong color that doesn't blend with your cools or your warm, you'll need to wait a moment and then paint it over. So let's take your time and decide on your two, two color families that you will be using for each part of your beautiful coil pottery. Mm -hmm. 